Hey what is up my name is Martin and here in front of me I have the brand new Xiaomi Redmi S2 and why this phone is released is a big question to me so let's go. So here we have the DHL bag where the Xiaomi Redmi S2 arrived in so let's open it quickly. So on the box we see that the phone has a 16 megapixel selfie camera with flash and it's an AI powered camera just like the dual camera setup on the rear with, with a large 1.25 micron pixels. There is a 6 inch screen but only with a 720p resolution and inside the Redmi S2 is probably Xiaomi's favorite processor, the Snapdragon 625. Okay, so if we open the box we see that Xiaomi highlights on the phone once again the three main features of the phone. So let's get rid of that, and who doesn't love the feeling of removing the plastic from a brand new gadget? So let me know in the comment section if you love it as well. And on the back we have one more sticker that needs to be removed. So I think the phone looks pretty nice. The only thing that you notice right away is that this is plastic and not metal, even though it looks like metal. But the moment you touch it, it's not cold like metal would do. We have the My logo, and what's also new is that there are two antenna lines above the camera. The camera is protruding a little bit, which is annoying when you want to type something. And there's also a fingerprint scanner. There's a SIM slot on the side, and there will fit in two SIM cards and one micro SD card. And on the other side we have the power buttons that are very tactile. Something that I really like. So on the front we have the selfie camera of course and on the other side is the flash. That is the phone so far so let's see what else is in the box. Then we have right away the user guide and this one is in English as you can see with the dual SIM tray and the micro SD card slot. And probably it's been in English because this is the global version of the phone. We also have the transparent case and what I like a lot is that the corners cover the, the glass of the phone as well. In the box is also a cable and I believe it's a micro USB cable if I'm correct. Mm, yeah. So, but I'm kind of sad because the Type-C isn't that expensive anymore. In the box is also a SIM popper. And last but not least is the power brick, which is an EU variant, but it is only 5 volts, meaning that it's not a fast charging brick. And then I believe so that Xiaomi disabled also the fast charging if you have a fast charging brick then. So here's the phone and I inserted the SIM card and set up my fingerprint and it's um, pretty fast, decent and has really good accuracy. We have a very snappy and smooth user experience I see right out, out of the box. And that's probably because of an optimized MIUI skin. I think it's MIUI 9.5 and yeah that's true, okay. So the global ROM stable I see and there's also an octa-core processor inside, 3 gigs of RAM of course. And there's also a recent security patch and that's something typically Xiaomi. Now let's see if we have the latest software. Yeah. So we have of course all of the Google apps pre-installed and that also means that there are many languages available. Uh, I saw German, French, I saw Czech, I saw Slovenian, Bulgarian, but I didn't see Dutch so far so that's maybe something you need to know. But let me install, but allow me to install some apps and see how it performs. Okay, so here we have the smartphone and I did install all of the applications that I use very often on a daily basis, including some Microsoft apps, some social media applications and a really good game that I like to play and that's PUBG, you probably all know it, some other applications and the testing apps that I use for my reviews. So here we have the display tester and you can really see it's only a 720p screen. 
if we go to the branding you can see all of the colors and this is set at 50% brightness and I think it's nothing to worry about so far. I think it's pretty okay but let's see at 100% as well. I think that the colors are well represented but in my full review later on I will compare it to other devices to see how it really performs. What also is quite important are the viewing angles to me and let's start with 50% brightness first. And I think that you can see it pretty well and at 100% I think that there's not much of a difference but I can see everything clearly and I hope so you can see it as well on the screen and that the yeah, viewing angles are actually pretty good. The other thing that I really want to discuss is the speed test and let's start with the Wi-Fi and let's see how the Wi-Fi is doing. The Wi-Fi is approximately 6 to 7 meters away with some obstacles on a 2.4 GHz network. It's pretty decent if I say so with 35 Mbit and nearly 20 up. Let's see how the 4G is doing inside the house because the phone supports all of the major 4G European bands. The ping is a bit higher but <laughs> wow that 4G is indeed pretty fast and good and that's probably because of the band 24 4G. And yeah it's really good. Upload is not the best but it's very very acceptable. The last thing that I want to check is the GPS even though I'm inside. And let me see how fast it is because <laughs> okay, that is pretty fast to find satellites and a fix at all. And that for the very first time, I am impressed. And remember, this is inside the house. And can you imagine how fast it will be outside? You can also, you can clearly see all of the satellites here displayed on the map as well. Last but not least is of course the mandatory N2 test. Even though it's just a number and it's an easily generalization of your phone on how fast it is but let's see what the octa core processor is scoring on this test so with 80k it's by far of course the highest i've ever seen but it's a very very decent score for a 3 gigs of ram phone and with 150 dollars that the device cost in mind it's actually pretty good i think so I had to install the game of course that I really love and that's PUBG and I was surprised that this game cannot play on the medium settings because with an octa-core processor and only a 720p screen it should be possible I believe so. I didn't check the frame rates yet but my first experiences are so far that the game is really easy and smooth to play. And the same easiness counts for killing the noobs. Hit that like if you think so as well. The treble checker tool allows you to check whether or not your phone supports easier, faster and less costlier Android updates. And you can read more in the app itself, but as you can see by the Red Cross, it doesn't support it. So we have to hope that Xiaomi keeps updating the Android OS. We didn't discuss the camera yet, and that's because I want to test this properly before and share everything with you in the full review, so subscribe if you haven't already. What I can share with you so far is that this device shoots in 4K with good stabilization because this gyroscope aids the uh, electronic input stabilization and there is a true bokeh effect. And the same counts for the battery, this will come later as well after proper testing. So why Xiaomi? Why did you release this smartphone? In terms of pricing, it's close to the Xiaomi A1 and the Redmi 5 Plus and you're getting a better and higher resolution display, a better camera probably, a metal housing, fast charging etc. Is the only goal here to make a better selfie camera smartphone? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below because I'm not sure. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see all of you in the full review very soon.